case lasting four years comes to a close as a Douglas County judge sends Marvin Young to prison for manslaughter. A judge gives Young 23 to 31 years, but he could get parole in seven and a half years. Kamisha Hollis vanished on Easter Sunday. It was 2018. Her family has looked for her body almost every day since then. Her mother says she's glad the court proceedings are over so that they can start to live a normal life. News Watch 7 at 9's Michelle Van Door brings us the emotional moments from inside the courtroom today. That's what I believe in. The mother of Kamisha Hollis brought this framed picture of her daughter with her to court. Having it there with me, well, knowing Kamisha's there, not in the flesh, she was there in the spirit. Martha Hollis set the photo in front of her. My Kamisha. Yeah. As she asked the judge for the maximum sentence for her daughter's killer. I look at today of uh, Kamisha Justice Day. A plea bargain brought the family to sentencing day, four years after Young killed 35-year-old Hollis. A first-degree murder charge reduced to manslaughter. Prosecutors say the couple fought the night of April 1st at their home. Young gave cough medicine to their three daughters, ages six, eight, and nine, to make them sleep. But the oldest, Ayana, who is now 14, didn't drink it and told detectives she heard loud hitting, possibly with a boot, and her mom yelling stop. Prosecutors say there's video of Young in Hollis's car at the Platte River near Plattsmouth. Police never found her body, but a dog picked up her scent on the riverbank. Through tears and deep breaths, Ayana bravely told the judge she has nightmares. She's been angry, realizing the pent-up anger is what I lost. I don't think it's right. He gets to walk out scot-free, and I have to carry this on my shoulders, wondering why and what could I have done to prevent this from happening. Even though people say it's not my fault, I was just a kid. That's my mom, and I feel like I had to protect her. That was my duty. Because she really thinks that she could have done something to stop it. This case also brought Chief Deputy County Attorney Brenda Beadle to tears, wishing the family knew where Young put Kamisha's body. I can accept that Kamisha is gone because what's, what's done is I can't undo. But I can't accept that she was thrown away like garbage or trash.